Hi. Today I'd like to show you OpenBazaar. OpenBazaar is a distributed, decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer marketplace where people can buy and sell physical and digital goods. Think of it like eBay meets BitTorrent. What I mean by that is there is no central server running OpenBazaar. Everyone who takes part in OpenBazaar runs a program on their computer which connects with programs running on other people's computers. So everyone is a server, everyone is a client, just like how with BitTorrent there is no central server. It's people sharing files with each other um, directly. OpenBazaar has no fees and no restrictions. If you're a seller on eBay, you know that eBay takes a cut when you sell an item and they have a fee when you list an item. So Open Bazaar is kind of looking to be an eBay killer or at least that's how I see it. I've installed Open Bazaar on my Mac here. Um, if you want to try it out you can definitely do that. Right now as of it's March 5th 2016 um, Open Bazaar is launched, but it's launched on the Open Bazaar testnet, and it uses instead of Bitcoin, it uses Bitcoin on the Bitcoin test network. So, I'm getting a message here uh, from Sam Pat, who is helping me test buying process, which I'll show you in a moment. If you want to take part in the testing, you'll need a testnet wallet. This is um, using Bitcoin on the Bitcoin testnet. So it's fake Bitcoin, it's not worth any money. This is the one I use, but here's another online wallet you can use if you don't want to install something on your phone. Okay, so I've got OpenBazaar running here. Um, it's just a program like you would run on your computer, like like a web browser or a file, or not file processor, but a word processor. Um, it has to be running all the time, if you're a store, that is. Um, otherwise, people can't connect to you. Uh, people can't connect to your program and buy your products. You have to run it all the time, either um, on your computer or in the cloud. You can do that through a VPS. Or there's talk of some service providers who will run a store for you, run run a store server for you in the in the cloud. But anyway, it has to be running all the time if you're selling. If you're buying, it doesn't matter. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and look through here. Um, when you first start Open Bazaar, it walks you through the localization. You set your local currency, your name, your avatar, whether or not you want to see not safe for work content, whether you want desktop notifications. Here you enter your Bitcoin address. If you're a buyer, this is especially important because if you place an order with a vendor who can't fulfill your order, um, they need an address to return to refund your Bitcoin to. Um, there's avatar, a little description, you could put your social media links, um, there it is. Um, if you want to have a store, you create a store here and you can choose a moderator. Moderators are like arbiters, they resolve disputes between buyers and sellers. Addresses go here, and this is useful if you have a office address and a home address and you want to ship to one or the other depending on what the item is or um, where you are at the time. You can block people because that's important. There is no central authority that is, um, you know, deleting stores with questionable content. That's up to you. Uh, moderator, if you want to become a moderator, you can do that here. Advanced is for if you want to run your server in the cloud so you don't have to keep your computer all the time on all the time uh, if you're a seller. All right, that's enough there. Let's go to Discover. That's like the home page of Open Bazaar. These are just random items that people have been listing. Um, I think if you follow people, it might put them first. No, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Um, but you can follow people, and it's easier to find um, items you're interested in if the stores you follow have like a specific niche you're in, interested in. Alright, so let's buy something. 
Um, I can't afford that Tesla Model S, even though that's a sweet deal at only $8,000. Oh, it's very dented. <laughs> um, let's say someone sent me a link on Twitter. They, they posted a link saying, we've got this new item in stock. Here's the link. Um, following this, that's what the link like is looks like. Yeah, that's what the link looks like. I just pasted it. Um, if you click that in your browser, um, your file type associations would bring up Open Bazaar. I'll click enter here. Going to Sam Pat's store, and here we have an Open Bazaar laptop sticker, new in stock. Let's buy it. Click that buy button. We can choose a moderated payment. That's like um, where there's escrow. Let's see. Once I receive the item, I would say, I've received the item. And then that would release the funds from escrow and give the funds to the vendor. But for uh, simplicity, I'm just going to do this direct payment. Moderated payment does work, by the way. Uh, all right, there's my refund address. I'll click Next. That's the address I want to send to. Uh, I want the vendor to send to. Um, if I had multiple addresses, I could choose one or the other. Here's, a, here's where I choose the quantity. I confirm the address, and I see it's a direct payment, not a moderated payment. That all looks good, so I'll click Pay for Order. Here we have a Bitcoin QR code. I'm going to bring up my phone here. And I've got my app, uh, my Bitcoin wallet for testnet open. Clicking Send Coins using the camera function to scan that QR code. Got it. All right. Confirming the amount. I'm clicking Send. Payment sent. It's that simple. And it's that fast. That's like I was, I was blown away by this the first time I did it. Um, it's nice. Okay. Click close here. And now we just go back to doing whatever. We have to wait for the seller to ship the item, which could take a day or two days, depending on the seller's um, shipping policy. So, yep. Now we wait. It's been about 30 minutes. And there was a problem with this order. Um, for about 19 minutes, I was waiting. And up here in my purchase history, um, the item was saying, like this one is, ready to process, paid in full, which means it's waiting on the vendor. Um, I contacted Sam, and he said it was a bug and I should restart my Open Bazaar, which I did. And then it imme immediately changed to confirmed slash shipped. So, I mean, this is an early... Well, it's not early. It's They're, they're pretty uh, well along their development path. Um, but I mean, testing just started three days ago. Um, there are some bugs, but they're being squashed left and right. Um, we've already had an update from 1.0.6 to what I have now, 1.0.7, which, um, corrected a bunch of connectivity issues that people are having. Um, but I mean, this is software. It only gets better. Um, and it's, it's looking great so far. Even this whole experience, I think, is a lot more streamlined than eBay. Um, I'm, I'm just excited for when this goes live and I can sell some stuff and buy some stuff. And I can do it using Bitcoin. So, oh yeah, um, back to this process. Confirmed and shipped. So there's one thing I have to do, which is leave feedback and confirm that I've actually received the item. So we go to order details here. Oh, and by the way, this screen, um, I click on my face up here and I go to purchases and I get to my purchase history. So we want to confirm this as received. So we just click this complete order button. Um, another thing you can do if you need to, um, contact the seller about this order, you can do this here. This just works. The chat on here works. It just works. 
um, peer-to-peer -peer chat, and it works great. Um, you can click here to see the transaction. Um, since we are in the Bitcoin testnet, um, it brings up a block explorer. Is that the one we click? Yeah. Or no, nope, that's not the one. Um, few details. That's the one. Brings up blockcipher.com, and you can see the um, status on the Bitcoin network, whether or not your transaction has occurred or not, which it has. Um, and Sam has the Bitcoin I sent him. Anyway, let's go back to complete this order. Say we receive this sticker in the mail. Since we're on test mode, um, I'm not actually going to be receiving this sticker because the Bitcoin I sent was test Bitcoin, which is worthless. Um, click complete order. Um, and here's where I rate the item. Um, that was pretty good quality. Yeah, it was a good quality sticker. Yeah, uh, good description. Yeah, the delivery speed was good, even though there was a bug. The, uh, he shipped it right away. Um, the bug was on my end. I just had to restart. Review. Great stick. Stick. Uh -huh. I put it on my face. I save. And that completes the transaction. Uh, payment is released. So there's one thing I have to figure out, whether or not there is escrow, even though I didn't do moderated payment. It sounds like there is. No. It doesn't, because Sam said he received my Bitcoin. Anyway, that's something I have to figure out, but you could always do moderated payment if it's a big purchase, or you're worried about the the honor of the vendor. So, it's a it's a great system for trustless buying and selling. And of course, there's reputation. The more people sell, the more reputation they get. I'll go back to the homepage here. That's about it for this video. Um, in other videos, uh, I have some ideas of things I could show. Those are setting up a store, installing on OS X and Ubuntu, um, making a moderated purchase, open an, opening a dispute, and making a sale. So if this was interesting, if I should make more like this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.